Okay, so it's a rather long process. I've got the wire cut off separated. I've got the windings all wound in this two inch segment here. And now I have to remove the coil. I'll take a flip up these guys, pick up the coil. Now on this side, there's a little pipe that use, I use as a bearing. And now I have it in my hand. And I'm going to aim the camera so I can see what I'm doing. And I got to take this uh, this off, these uh, sides off. So undo the elastics. All right, and take one off. And just give you a closer look at this uh, side support. You can see there's a little gap in there. Um, not a lot of light. I'm going to move the light. Uh, give us a little bit better lighting that looks a little bit better a little bright in my eyes but okay so again i'll show you there is the spindle and the elastics push that together tight and they clamp on the the drum we'll call it and i'll take the extra tape i have off here uh, keep this get this out of the way because i have to pull the coil over this tape and this tape will just make it jam, get sticky. Okay, it looks pretty clean. I have to take this uh, coil clamp off. I think I called it a C-camp clamp earlier. It's really a coil clamp. I don't know if any, any of you have ever worked on a clothes, on a clothes dryer. And the vent, generally typically about four inches in diameter. Now they have these kind of clamps, these kind of clamps to hold the hose onto the dryer and then generally through an attachment through uh, the wall and so forth. And now I'm down to getting ready to move, remove the coil. Take off any extra tape I see hanging around, get it out of the way. And so as you can see, this is not a five minute job to wind a coil. Uh, the material cost in this coil on a bifiller is under $50. <laughs> There's a couple of hours work, easy, if not, if not longer, um, doing everything. And what you're seeing here is just winding the coil. So I'll have to connect the wires to it. Um, I have to make adapters so it connects to the function generators or the spookies. So there's more to this, this coil. Now I can take this off. So here's the second one I have off. And now it's a matter of working the coil off the wire, off the spool, rather. So I straighten, I straighten these pieces out so they'll pull through that hole real nice and easy. And I use a screwdriver. I have one in my hand. And I start the process of prying it off. And this can take a couple of minutes, but I do get it off eventually. And as we're moving, so you can see how it's starting to slip off. And it's not falling all apart because I have a couple of tie wraps holding things together. But those tie wraps are not really holding things tightly, but they're holding it enough so things won't um, spring on me and explode. When I say explode, I've had a, when I was making the smaller coils a couple of times, um, for some reason or other, I, I, I let my grip go on the coil while I was winding it and it would just spin unwind. <laughs> and I, basically I called it exploding. I make it sound funny, but it was not a lot of fun to have to redo that work. Okay. What was nice about the smaller coils, I, I just kept them on the very spindle that I was uh, winding them on. Uh, but here, you can't do that. Uh, if I could find economically big spindles that I could do this with, I, I would, but I can't. Okay, I'm almost off. And you see how I have to work it off slowly. But it does come off.
And we are just about there. And we are off. Now put this out of, out of the way. And the next thing I have to do is I have to tie wrap it real tight together. So here's the coil. Nice, uh, you can see this inner diameter is rough, it is six and a half inches. And the outer is roughly eight inches. I'll hold this where you can see it. So these, these tie wraps that I used uh, while I was winding it, they're very flimsy, so I don't pull them very tight. I don't want to break them until I get some heavy duty tie wraps on. And now I'm going to put one right at the junction where the wire comes out from the bottom of the coil or the inside of the coil. Use a pair of pliers to pull some tension on here. There we go. So now that I have a heavier duty tie wrap, I can get the little ones out of the way. So you're right, the tie wraps are destroyed. You can't reuse them. And where's the... Now I put a lot more than three. You're going to see exactly what I do. And then these tie wraps get cut off too at when I start taping uh, the coil up. Okay. Get these little guys out of here. I don't need them anymore. Okay, here's where I pull the, all the wires tightly together, and the tighter I can pull them, uh, the less chance that you'll hear a, uh, a buzzing or transformer sound. And they're all pulled nice and tight together. So this is how I make a coil. Now the the monocoils are oh, unbelievably much easier to, to make. They wind real easy because I'm not trying to hold two wires together. There's less um, peripheral stuff. I, I only have to make one cord because I only have one winding. I'll have to make one adapter uh, for the spooky. And when I say spooky, um, I don't just mean the spooky. I mean any function generator similar looking, like the FY2300, or even ones that don't look like that. There's an Indian brand, an MHS or something like that, um, that looks very much like the spooky, but it's not. But they are all very, very similar. The thing about the spooky and what John White did is just the best. He wrote software that you can control it with, that just makes all the difference in the world. Um, and the software continually gets improved and I am one believer in that software. The things you can do with it is just absolutely amazing. Okay, so now I'm going around. I've got enough tie wraps on here and so I'm pulling things tight, as tight as I can without breaking the uh, tie wraps and when I do the taping that even brings the wires even tighter together and you'll see that shortly okay now I have the other lengths where is it right here So here we go. You can see I have um, two wires. I have um, both coming out near the same side of the uh, coil. And I don't need them this long, so they're just going to get in the way when I'm taping. So I'm going to cut them to the length that I 
I know it's safe right now. And this is where the cables will be attached. Uh, these two here, the two white ones, the 12 gauge, will actually have a cable attached. And the 12 gauge will have a female socket attached. Uh, because you only need these wires here when you're running it as a spooky uh, magnetic wave device. There are a lot of other things you can do with this coil that I haven't exploited yet. You can combine the two windings into serial. One serial winding, you can make a bigger uh, mono coil. Uh, just a lot of things you can do. Unbelievable. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'll do it in front of the camera. That looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to go get some tape. And um, I'll pick the video up with the taping. So when I got the tape, I got a completed coil. And here's a completed one. And, and the cord is uh, permanently mounted to the 12 gauge. And then the you can see possibly the green 18 gauge has a female receptacle on it. And I make a cord for this. And it's as long as this one. And then I make two um, adapters that will take that plug and make it so it will plug into a spooky uh, channel one and channel two. So you can use these coils with any function generator, any two function generator um, like the spooky FY2300, uh, FY3200, um, MH2 or 3200, I think. I don't know what the numbers are. It's uh, one that's made over in India. Uh, they all are very, very similar. But the Spooky 2 is the only one that has really good software. So that's, uh, that's the uh, unit of choice for me. All right, let's start taping. Uh, color doesn't mean anything. I bought rolls and rolls of blue tape. This is PVC tape. And what's nice about it, it's very stretchable. And I bought rolls and rolls of it in white and blue. Um, so if you order a coil and you say, I want a white coil, uh, let me know and I'll make your coil, wrap your coil in white. So I, I generally start away from where these wires are, start, you know, a little bit away. And, and just start stretching the tape. Wrap it all the way around. I do a half wrap. They, it overlaps. Uh, anywhere between 50 and maybe 65%. Uh, and I'm stretching it at the same time I'm wrapping. And I did a sloppy job there. This coil is going to go someplace. And so what I'm going to do, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't watching. Okay, so there's a warning. Don't uh, pay attention to what you're doing. I'm going to start that over again because I did a sloppy job and I wouldn't want to have this coil go up looking like that. Okay, so I didn't waste much tape there. I'm going to start over again. Get these wires out of the way. Again, I start a little ways away from here and I'll run right through it when I come around. Okay, hold this between my legs momentarily. And I'm going to go this way. And stretch. And pay attention and stretch, and pay attention. And I do this all the way around, and what, you'll see what happens when I come to a tie wrap. Now, the coil is being compressed because I'm stretching this PVC tape, and it, I, I believe they said it has about like a 50% stretch ratio. You can stretch it 50% before it snaps. And I get pretty close to it. Now, a couple of times, I've uh, poked a coil uh, uh, on something that I laid it down on, and I just I just retape it. I just tape over it. it is, this is such a beautiful, I was going to say idea, but uh, that might imply that <laughs> I'm cutting the tie wrap out of the way because now the, the coil is held together by the tape. So that tie wrap is gone, and I continue on. Okay, so now you get the idea how I make a pretty looking coil. Now I don't know if you want to watch me do this all the way through. Is What I think I'll do is I think I'll pause the video again and um, show you when I get close to the end. Uh, you, you got the essence of what I'm doing. So I'm just PVCing the coil. 
There you go. And that's what I'll do. I'll pause the video and pick up uh, at the next level. Okay, um, I wrapped the coil and I'm down to the very last part where the wires will be coming through the tape. Um, so I cut the last tie wrap and I generally put a little extra tape here and I weave it back and forth. So I go over, uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I just keep wrapping around and around this area for several times, several turns, extra turns. Move the wire a little bit, tuck it as close as I can to the wire and keep coming around and stretch the tape and come around the other side. And now I'm going to, I got the inner wires that I, I, I did and I just work my way around them. So this, was ha this is what happens when you get to where the wires are and they get a lot of extra turns of tape. And you can see now the coil is completely covered, but I want these wires to be nice and secure. So I'll spend a little time here doing uh, a good job. And stick the tape if I can. Okay, so I, I got the tape a little, I got the tape folding in on itself. It's not a problem because I'm near the end and I'm going to just heavily wrap this area. Um, anyway, so cut off that little sticky spark and continue on wrapping in this area. So now you probably realize why I started away because I wanted to finish up here. And this is what I'm doing around and around. So this is going to go out to a place out in California. Uh, Charlie, if you're watching this video, uh, this is your coil. So you can see all that it entails. It is not a five minute job and it's not an easy job. Okay, once I think I've got that area pretty well secure, I come around and I go past everything a little bit, you know, past that area. And there's a, obviously there's a double uh, or triple tape area right in this area. And I get away from it and pretty much stop where I started, somewhere in here. And I try to um, cut it so the tape stops inside the coil and then I actually put some glue right here which I, I'm not going to do on the video but I put some glue yeah man, I could get myself confused right here and that will hopefully seal that tape forever and here is a wound coil waiting for its cables so the next video will have to do with cables putting the cables on and so forth okay Good.